What's up guys? AdventureDex here from AdventureDexOnline.com In the last two weeks you've watched me install the front and the rear bumper by Razor Auto and Razor Off-Road. Today we're going to tackle the rock sliders. I want to give a big shout out to Razor Auto and Razor Off-Road for making this video possible. Go and check them out guys. Let's get started ripping these stock running boards off the Jeep. The stock Jeep running boards are held in with nine bolts. Three larger bolts that are vertical and six horizontal bolts. The first step is to tackle the three larger bolts. You're going to use a half inch socket set to remove those. The new Razor Auto Razor Off-Road rock sliders have three mounting points with six bolts. You're going to use a 17 millimeter socket set to get off the OEM bolts to attach the new rock sliders. Once you remove the six factory bolts from the three mounting points, you're gonna grab a buddy to help you put the rock sliders on. You're gonna need to reuse the six factory bolts that you've just taken off. You're gonna have to hold them majority of them. Hold them again, yeah. Once you get the six bolts tightened down, the installation is complete and you can repeat the process on the next side. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave us a thumbs up rating. If you have any questions, comment them below. I'm going to link this product in the description, so go and check it out guys. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Be sure to stay tuned for every Thursday for a new Jeep video. I've got a lot of requests from you guys to make a video on some wheeling in the Bahamas. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see behind the scenes photos of this installation and more AdventureDex content, head over to AdventureDexOnline.com. As always guys, I appreciate the support. I'm out. Thank you.